In this video, I'm going to go over the focus settings that I use to get the best results possible out of my image when I'm filming sports videography. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sport videography. And today we're going to be talking about focus settings and how to get the best and most consistent focus when you are filming a sports video. So we're going to talk about filming in autofocus versus with manual focus. We're going to talk about focus modes and zones and all that stuff. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of what settings you should or could be using depending on your model of camera to get the best result possible and nail focus as much as you possibly can. So just so everyone knows where I'm coming from with this, I film most of my sports video content on a Sony a7 III, which you can see right here. Obviously I'm not filming with it right now. But this camera is a little old. I think this came out in 2018, maybe. I didn't get it in 2018. But it's like a four-year-old camera and it's still holding up. And I'm gonna go over the focus settings that I use with this camera, but I feel like with a lot of Sony cameras for sports videography, you're gonna wanna be following something similar to this. So whether you have an a7 III, maybe you have an older camera, like an a6300, a6400, maybe you have like an FX3, FX6, FX9, whatever. I still think that these are going to be applicable to you. To start, let's talk about autofocus versus manual focus. I mostly film basketball when I'm filming sports videography, though basketball, like other sports, has a large number of people on the field at the same time, or on the court rather, and there's a lot of frantic movement. It can be hard to keep focus because of all the elements that kind of get in the way and can be distracting. So I, I know it's probably counterintuitive to what I just said, like using autofocus over manual focus. I find that with manual focus, the action is so fast that it can be difficult to keep up sometimes. And it's honestly just too difficult to do consistently for long periods of time. I feel like with manual focus, like I can do it, but I'm afraid that I'm gonna miss that one shot that really matters in the moment where it's the most important. But the autofocus on this camera, the a7 III, on most Sony cameras, especially the most recent ones, is really, really good and really smart. Honestly, I think smarter than we are. So me personally, I really trust my Sony autofocus to pick up what I'm looking for most of the time. Of course, this needs to be paired with the right lens. So I used either the Tamron 28-75 f2.8, which is a great third-party lens for these Sony cameras that like still works really well with autofocus. Or I use this lens that you see right here, which is the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter f4. I think the autofocus on this is exceptional. I think it's better than the f2.8 Mark I. I use both, this lens just focuses fantastic and I love it. So for that reason, I use autofocus over manual focus because I just get more consistent results and I really value that. Now, as far as what settings to use while in autofocus on my Sony mirrorless camera to get the best result possible and make sure that my shots are in focus as much as they possibly can be and as frequently as possible, I like using autofocus continuous. This seems like a no-brainer. Maybe if you're shooting photography, you would want to use single shot autofocus so that you can lock a subject and just be focused on it and not have any focus breathing. But when you're filming a video and you're just a play over a period of time that is transpiring, like a player is going for a layup and maybe they move from the wing closer to your camera towards the basket away from your camera or something and do the layup, you want to track that player continuously throughout your shot. Hence why we're using continuous autofocus because it's tracking the player as he's moving further or closer to your camera. So I use continuous autofocus all the time for sure. And as far as my focus zone, I know there's a whole bunch of them. There's like wide zone, center, I, you, I'm probably missing one, but I usually stick to the wide focus mode. I feel like these Sony cameras are just smart enough that when I set it to wide and focus in on something, the camera will pick out the subject who I'm trying to frame up. And obviously this has to do with like how I frame up my shots. Usually when I'm filming sports, I like center frame people a lot 
because it makes it easier to crop for social later and most of the work that I do gets cropped for four by five or nine by 16 and goes on social media. So I want that subject to be right in the center. I don't care too, too much about like framing off to the side unless I want to do it for some aesthetic reason. But usually I like put the subject somewhat near the middle, set my focus mode to wide and it will do a pretty good job of picking up what I want to be in focus. If my camera starts struggling with the focus, I find that I can just like half press this shutter button like right here. You can see me pressing it with my right hand. A little half press on that usually does a good job at helping me pick up whatever I'm trying to focus on or this little AF on button on the back of my camera right here. I can just touch that and it'll usually lock focus for me and allow me to set my focus on whatever I'm pointing the camera at. Now there are some situations depending on the lighting or depending on the lens I'm using where this autofocus with the autofocus zone set to wide just isn't going to perform that well for me. So if I find that my autofocus is struggling a little bit, I'll usually set my autofocus zone to center because then there's no guesswork involved. I'm not forcing the camera to try to like search this wider area and figure out what I want to focus on. It just looks at the middle of the frame in that little square in the center and focuses on whatever's there. So then I can just frame my subject in the center of the shot. The camera will focus on that subject without thinking twice. And then I don't need to worry about the autofocus picking up something that I don't want it to. And again, because I'm shooting for social a lot of the time, I'm not too worried about framing it on like one of the thirds, like, you know, typical rule of thirds that you hear about in film school and stuff. I'm not too worried about that a lot of the time when I'm shooting for social. Anyways, I know this was a short video, but I hope it helped you. This is a question that I get a lot. And now there's a place that I can send people to when they ask so that that question can be promptly answered in detail. Now, if you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips, tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I would love to have you around for that. And if you have any other questions, comments about this video, you just want to chat and say, hey, drop it down in the comment section. I'd love to get back to you down there. Anyways, that is going to be all for this one. So until next time, peace.